Welcome to ServiceNow Experts. In this video, we will go through ServiceNow Tokyo release. ServiceNow releases two versions every year to keep everything up to date and also gives the best experience to the clients. So, in this video, we pick top seven items that we feel are important and as we couldn't cover every item, so we recommend you to go to service now, release notes to get more details. So let's get started. In this video, we'll cover why we need to do upgrade, why Tokyo release and the features that we pick and choose. The first one is why upgrades. The main reason to upgrading is either think about your iPhone or Android phone. The reason for upgrades is to have a better security. You have more better users. More, more better user experience, more features, more apps. This is the reason why we need to upgrade. We cannot keep ourselves constant in one place. A change is important. That is why upgrades are so important on security perspective, user interface perspective, and the best products that we'll be releasing. Is ServiceNow, and we know that ServiceNow is well known for these upgrades. The more we upgrade, the better functionality that we have. At the same time, ServiceNow is doing its best to always have the smoothness in upgrade process. They brought the upgrade center to have full control for the admin to know what is happening on upgrade. Because while working for a client, it is so important that their data is important. So for an administrator for as a ServiceNow, they should know each and every details. So that is why it is so important to have an upgrade. And every upgrade will continue to push these videos to have a better experience and knowledge for our users. The next thing is why Tokyo release, right? And previously we are in, we released the San Diego video and now we are in Tokyo. Tomorrow it will be Utah or something else. So in Tokyo release, service are especially focused on core elements where they didn't really took time on the user experience. They did add some features, but they really focused on the core elements. It may not look fancy for now because most of the next experience was brought in the San Diego version. So that is why in Tokyo, you may see the same things, but they really focused on little, little minimum things that are really helpful for an administrator and developer. Move on to the functionalities. Let's focus on user presence. In workspace, if you enable this one in UI Builder, you can actually see how you will be seeing the user's presence when we are working on the form. Service and also bought the same thing in the user presence in the workspace as well. This is a great thing. Not too much fancy, but something they're continuing the trend. Second thing is that admin center. As a system admin, you have every control on your administrator perspective. They build an entire dashboard to see this. In order to see the admin center, all you need to do is log into your uh, instance and click on admin. If you are an admin, then you will see the admin home. In this section, you will be seeing the apps that are ready to update. Apps are ready to install and any security notification. Everything in one space, such a convenience for the administrator to see each and every details. Moving on to Automation Center. Automation Center is such a crucial task in ServiceNow. The way we progress in ServiceNow, every time that we are doing a manual activity, it is such a pain for every developer or administrator. Automating things, which we are so confident it will take care of itself, entire automation things can be viewed here. As you can see on the screen, they have automation goals, they have to automations and robotic process as well. As you know, service to introduce RPA, it had brought so much of automation. Every world runs by automation. So having a automation center for dedicated for to see all the details is a game changer. Moving on to translate slash dynamic notifications. So as we know, Service now in our notifications. If you go to notifications, you may see 
there are so many notification types but with the re recent Tokyo release service will introduce a dynamic translation as well to enable the dynamic translation all you need to do is install the plugin click on the advanced view and you will see going forward once the application is installed once a plugin is installed you will see entire a section of tab for a translation for that you can have full control of the translation you can enter your email notification in a different language like spanish german and it will automatically dynamically translate to enable this one go to your plugins and in plugins search for dynamic translation and you should be able to download it and i also want to let you know that it is a paid so be careful talk to your account representative having this feature moving on to app engine updates as you may know app engine is a no code to low code uh, technology where it is so easy for a business user to easily to create apps so they added the flows and they added the excel formula builder so that if you are good with excel formulas you can create excel formulas and actually build it there they enable the template sharing for example if you go to the app engine and click on any app if you go to the home section go to the templates i think let me show you this let's go to the template and when you click on this three dots you will see share options this is such a convenience for everyone to use this sharing options so they brought this in this uh tokyo release going back to email notification builder so in app engine you can have this email notification builder and it is so easy to conditionally build an emails so that everything is dynamically built and they also brought the app engine management center so you can see all the apps that are built in one place and in ui builder they brought many components such as conditional builder user presence and update to tabs these are very few but the more you research into this one there are so many components adding by each and every release and the entire team working at service now is bringing so many components to bring the experience for the users and finally ecma script is there how long we been waited for this one it is such a convenience for any developer to use this one so in order to enable this one go to your application it is only enabled for a scoped application not introduced in the global so make sure to use this one so you have every details it have an ability to have this technology and it is such a convenience for any developer and we've been waiting for such a long time so please make use of it and have the best practices and thank you so much for your time